Oh. And another thing too, when you got more people, you're getting this. It's, 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 the, it's spirit. the spirit. It's the spirit. You, you know, get stronger. It's, it's good for the spirit. It's to have good your for the spirit. It's not spirit. good for the spirit for brothers to be like, I'm fucking taking time off. It's like a. It's like that scripture said where two or three are gathered together in my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's better for the spirit when you got more brothers out here. Oh well, I mean, you can't always have a big old, big old camp. We used to have a giant camp. Where's everybody at now? You know what I'm saying? Lord only knows where they at. <laughs> and they're not here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up where we left off the last video. I'm gonna read this again. Matthew, I just ripped my Bible. Matthew 16 and one. The Pharisees also, when the Sadducees came, tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Cause like we saying, people only believe what they can see, touch, and feel. They don't believe in nothing spiritual. It's all about the physical world. Okay? It's... He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, can you discern the face of the sky? But can you not discern the sign of the times? What's the sign of the times? When you see a sign, when you see the United States government, when they sending tanks to Ukraine, <laughs> there's not a fucking sign, should not a, like a light bulb to go off like bing. Hey, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Do you not see this? <laughs> are, are you blind? Were you stupid? When you, well, yeah, like what well, he said, when you see uh, Russia's economy collapsing at the same time, you see gas prices. Was I got gas today for two thirteen? That's the lowest it's been in months, or years. I mean, years yeah, yeah, yeah. and years. Yeah. They all doing that. It's gonna get lower. Too. It's gonna keep going down. They doing this on purpose to. First of all, it's gonna fuck America up, and it's gonna fuck Russia mm -hmm. up. Yeah. They had, they're purposely attacking Russia seriously right now. America can withstand the storm a little longer because it's yeah. a larger economy. But it's, this place is going to get hit hard, the hardest anyway. Yep. Save the best for last. That's what they're doing too, actually. Save the best for last. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yep. It says, a wicked and adulterous generation. Wicked. Didn't he first call them evil? <laughs> but that's all my Israel, ain't it? Yeah, Israel. So, right. so our people are wicked as hell. They, they evil doers. Mm -hmm. They had no good. What's that scripture you read? No fucking good. They rebellious. Mm -hmm. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no sign given unto them, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Yeah. That's, right. That's gonna be their sign. That's right. Yeah. Goddamn, Coda bus come here in two minutes. Thus said the Lord Power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Power. Let me get this Hebrew. Right, because we just reading in the last video before that cut off about how uh, the Lord said, well, y'all y'all can see, like the scripture said, y'all can see all these signs, but you, a lot of these people don't, they don't even look for the signs. They don't even read, watch the news. They don't read the news. If they, they read any news, it's a uh, or watch the news, you know the news they watching? TMZ. They on some goddamn TMZ. That's their news. That's their news. Or ESPN. That's uh, ESPN is their news. What's that other one? Um, um, they posting videos, niggas fighting. World Star Hip Hop. World Star Hip Hop. Yeah, girl, That's I mean, their news. Man, I ain't never actually visited an actual site, but like twice. Look at this motherfucker wearing. Is that a bitch? Or is that a dude wearing pink shoes? Hot man. There's two of them. There's a girls. I hope those are girls. I'm not so sure. It's scary out here. Yeah, it's just scary. I'm not gonna look at it. Yeah, don't look. It's like, <laughs> it's like Medusa. <laughs> here you go. This is what these fools did. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right, because a wicked adulterous generation seeking after a sign, something they can see, feel, and touch. Mm -hmm. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah, so faith is the evidence of things not seen. That's right. 
You may not see with your eyes, but you can see it in the spirit. The spirit. You know what I'm saying? So we see shit in the spirit. You can't even understand the truth unless the Lord reveals it to you in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? I got a scripture for that. I think that's in Matthew 16, ain't it? That's what the two thirds don't have. They don't have that faith, that gift of faith. That's what it is, it's a gift. Let me read this real quick. Uh, Matthew 16 and 15. Actually, let me start at 13. When Yahalashai came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that the Son of Man am? You're the Son of Man, that's the Lord, the Son of God, right? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, or me Elijah, and others Jeremiah's, Jer Jeremiah. Hold up, that proves reincarnation. And the Israelites always believed in reincarnation because some people thought he was Jeremiah. Some thought he was Elijah. How could they think he was Jeremiah unless they, they believed in reincarnation? That's right. That's fake to believe. You know what I'm saying? It's fake. But we know he was neither of them. John the Baptist was Elijah. And they say, some said thou art John, some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art Christ, the son of the living God. Yahweh answered and said unto him, Lest art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. The Spirit. That's the Spirit. That's the, Spirit. the Heavenly Father. That's, right. That's who the Holy Spirit comes from. Something through faith the brothers believe. Through faith. Hey, let me skip down and get this one scripture real quick. Or you got something. Not going, bro. Got and then Yahweh said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, this is verse 24, 16 and 24. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That's what we're doing. We're carrying that cross. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he gained the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Israel, Israel give anything for the Let me keep going. For the, shine. for the yeah, they always want to shine. Mm -hmm. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. It's talking about when they come out of the sky with a UFO, the, 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 uh, the starships. And then he shall reward every man according to his works. Just like Isaiah 66 and 15 said that the, the Lord coming with chariots of fire like a whirlwind, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Mm. But he's going to give to every man according to their works. So a wicked man is going to get rewarded with the wicked works. Uh, the Lord going to bring evil on you. Evil. <laughs> the, the Bible says the Lord creates peace and evil. He creates the light and the darkness. That's Isaiah 45 and 7. Verily I say unto you, there be sons sta standing here which shall not taste of the death till they see the man coming in his kingdom. Mm. That's the point on that. You get back to the good this is, uh, this is Jeremiah 16 and 3. For thus said the Lord concerning the sons and daughter and sorry. for thus said the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bear them and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land they shall die of grievous death <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna die of grief if you ain't if you part of that two-thirds if you part of the two-thirds club, if you're an uh, adulterer, you know what I'm saying, you're a liar, you're an antichrist. Little servant of Mother God. You say if you are call if you call yourself a Muslim, an agnostic, an mm -hmm. atheist, or a Buddhist, a Hindu, <laughs> you worship goddamn Odin, talking about you a pagan. Look, man, you're gonna die a grievous death. A, a grievous, you're gonna suffer. A grievous wound. Look the word up. Grievous. grievous. Let's, read, let's look it up. Oh, let us look it up. I was just trying to. Nah, that actually sounds like that'd be a good time. Yeah, because grievous, right, right, right. You know, sometimes I just yeah. like to do it to have fun. Yeah, since this is going to be prolonged. Yeah, we're going to prolong. Two thirds going to prolong their death. Let's prolong this word grievous. Let's prolong this scripture. <laughs> yeah, let's prolong this scripture. <laughs>
I know there's two ways of saying it. Sometimes it's spelled grievous. Sometimes it's right. grievous. Yeah. It's yeah. the same word though. A grievous. <laughs> They gonna get every bit of the wickedness they deserve. Man. That's they one of the. Back on. That's one of the words right there, boy. Mm -hmm. You think we catching hell now? It, this ain't nothing that we catching now compared to what two thirds gonna get when this hell break loose. I say it all the time, man. These people, these movies that they love to watch, those nightmares movies, those horror movies, they're gonna become a fucking reality to them. Is that? Is that? How's that spelled? G R I E. <laughs> It is spelled G R I E. Yeah, that's what I thought. G R I E. Grievous. Grievous. G R. Better be in here, man. G R I E. I got it. I got it. Oh, I got. I got. I got. Dictionary, man. Ooh, I got it. Read, read that scripture one more time. Okay. So we're gonna read the scripture. We're gonna break I'm down the definition. The yeah. That was a nice one. For thus said. Oh, what's the, the, read the scripture number again? Jeremiah sixteen and three. Jeremiah sixteen and three. For thus said the Lord concerning the son and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begat them in this land. And these your wicked ass mama and your daddy. <laughs> they shall die of grievous death. I die a grievous death. They shall not be lamented. Didn't it, but what did it say? Didn't they call their mama a queen, an Israelite oh, queen? Lord, it didn't say that. No. Hmm. Let me read this. Grievous. Well, it comes from the word grieve. Let's just read both. Grieve. Like if somebody's grieving. And to grieve is to cause, to be sorrowful or anguish, to distress, <laughs> to hurt or harm, to be sorrowful, to lament, to mourn. It sounds like the scripture. <laughs> Come from uh, old French, from the Latin, gravare, to oppress, weigh upon, to be heavy. And then gr grievous means cause grief, pain, or anguish. Pain. Expressing grief, mourning. Oh, here we go. Serious or dire. Oh, grave. That's where you get the word grave. Grievous. That's bad. That's a good thing. I learned something. Mm. Grievous and grave are related. So your ass going to suffer a grievous death. You can get put in your grave. That's right. And you ain't, ain't going to be no graveyard when that, oh, that death no. comes. No. Ain't going to be no burying the body. That, that, that lights out. That bot, dead body's gonna lay in the street. Mm. Your ass gonna get ate by the bird. That's the scripture too. Their dead bodies should lay in the street so they go to the city. Either that, you're gonna get disintegrated by those missiles. Yeah, yeah. Whichever comes first, I'm happy with it. Yeah. As long as you suffer a grievous wound. That's right. As long as we can witness it. That's <laughs> grievous and grave. That's a good yeah. grievous grave. I'm glad I looked that up. Yeah, that's we just learned something. The two words are synonymous. Yep. They shall die of grief as death. They shall not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried. It's just like you was just saying. Uh, neither shall they be buried. What the? Fuck? <laughs> that's just the spirit. I didn't see that coming. That's just the spirit speaking, though. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit, right? You but know what they saying? shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. It's like you know, what I'm saying the scripture. It's just like a river. Yeah, they're gonna be like dung. What do you do with dung? <laughs> just like. <laughs> They gonna be like dung. Mm. They, so the Lord said y'all gonna be like shit. Y'all like, like a pile of dog shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Yeah. the Lord likened two thirds of Israel into shit, the dung, excrement. I agree with it. I, I'm I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling. We call people pieces of shits all the time. Yeah. Oh, you can't say that. You can't call people pieces of shits. The Lord called you a peep. He said you're gonna be like shit upon the face of the earth. But they shall be as dumb. As shit. You can say shit. <laughs> People don't, no, nobody even uses the word dung no more. Okay, now, now everybody calls it shit. We use a modern English now. Modern. They're all gonna be like shit. That's waste. That's you know, shit is waste. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So y'all gonna be wasted. You're gonna be put in your graves. Heathens too. Oh, they oh, they just ain't talking about the heathens. <laughs> Woo! Upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword. They're gonna be consumed by the sword. And by famine. And by famine. Oh, that's what we's talking about. Because these motherfuckers go to the grocery store every day thinking that food is gonna be there every day. They go to their grocery store thinking that EBT card is gonna work every day. I told you I went to Kroger's like a month ago 
and the EBTs went out. The EBTs wasn't working. Everybody lost their goddamn mind. Motherfucking bitches was crying. Like, how am I gonna feed my babies? <laughs> this one fat white bitch was in there complaining. She said, if I gotta use my own money, I know y'all gonna reimburse me. Shit. Like, no, no, bitch, no they're not. But motherfuckers lost their mind. I, I seen like shopping carts full of food just left. No, nobody could get food. Damn near this whole, it, se it seems like everybody where I live, every time I go to the grocery store, Damn near everybody I see buying groceries pays for it with EBT. Do you ever see that many people use cash? No. Very, very rarely. That's very funny. Here it is. I'm 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 using cash, and I ain't got that much of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm damn near. I'm, I'm bored. I could be homeless any day. Shit. Some places you go to an ESO land, man. They look at you like you're funny, man. Like you you just pull out some cash, man. Like, you know. They and they actually don't have much cash in those cash registers. They don't. Just enough to give people chance, just enough chance. So, uh, all, all the women you see got EBTs. Mm -hmm. And you see people you wouldn't even think have EBTs dressed all nice. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. got EBTs. Yeah. And you know all these goddamn foreigners got the EBTs. Every last Muslim you see in the store got an EBT. Yeah, Every single last one of them. Yeah, they live it up. They're living good off your hard work. Yeah, and they only go to their African stores now, or Arab stores now. Because here it is, our, our people, the men, it's the men that's uh, supplying all this money. All you hard-working men out there, you're going, you busting your ass every day. They taking all this money in taxes, and they take all your money, and they give it to a fucking heathen. Your tax You know, it's funny, it's, even two-thirds breaking up to a team. Yep. They up to they, get, well, they take over 40% of your check in taxes. That's crazy. It's just, man, I don't want to get on that tip, man. That's crazy, man. But that's Israel, man. Israel's just stupid. Yeah, but these mother, like that scripture said, there's a famine coming. First of all, there's a big-ass drought in California. Well, they just now got flooded, too. But it's still a drought, though. Yeah, that flood fucked them up. Yeah. That and flood didn't, still, right, it didn't really help. It barely put a dent in that, that, fam that, uh, that drought. But trust me, a famine is coming. The store shelves are going to be empty. The EBT card is not going to work, and your ass is going to starve, mm. and we're going to laugh. Mm. That's right. You're going to get killed over a goddamn can of beans or can of spinach. Y'all motherfuckers don't even like spinach. You never eat nothing healthy, but on that day, you get killed for spinach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That then all of a sudden, they're starving, you're going to eat that shit now, ain't you? Now you're going to eat healthy. And that's the only they go you can be so hungry you're gonna be eating dog food you're gonna be eating purina you're gonna be eating uh friskies cat food the <laughs> they gonna be eating friskies yeah, yeah. Say, it's not a lie you're gonna be eating them yeah. you're gonna like it too you be eating friskies purina what else they gonna be eating <laughs> they gonna be eating your own shit Ooh. you won't have nothing to eat when you take a shit you'll be looking at it like you gonna let eat me, it. Let me try and refry it. Buddy. That's what they gonna do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna try and eat your leather belt, your jeans? You gonna try and eat your. It is a joke, bro. This dude told me he was in Vietnam, and they got stranded with no food. And they said people was actually eating shit. Eat that shit. That's in the, that's in the movie. That's and he said they fried movie. it on a stove, and motherfuckers ate it, bro. That's, that's <laughs> I'm not making this up. Yep. Eat their own shit. They are. They gonna eat their own shit and drink their own piss. Now that's the prophecies we speak of, right? Well, that's, that's the prophecies of the Lord. But the Lord even take it a step farther and he tell you, you're going to eat your own children. That's in Jericho. Hey, you're right there. And that's in Jericho. Right there. Don't want to go in right there in 16 so that you eat your own friends? That's in that same chapter. Keep going. That's in, um, yeah, that's at the close to the end. That's where it is. Yeah, that's in there. That's in there. Yeah, let me keep going. Yeah, with keep this going thing, with man. that. I swear, by family and by carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Oh, it's just like in that Walking Dead. Y'all watched Walking Dead this season? Mm -hmm. I ain't watched five yet. And everybody was, everybody was, everybody was, I watched all that shit. I'm, I was waiting to the end just to watch more. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Let it build up. But, uh, yeah, everybody was running out of food. So they had one group of people, they was just cannibals. They was just capturing people and eating them. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. just can That's what's gonna happen. That's why the Walking Dead is such a good TV show but the average person watches it thinks it's fantasy they don't understand that because Esau knows what's going to happen because he's part of he's causing these problems 
Because, you know, he, he wants the family to come. He wants to kill all you people. Damn right. Let me, let's give him a little vision. What's the movie? The, um... The, 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 uh, the Road. The Road. The oh, road. that's even better. Watch The Road. That, you want to watch some? That's some scary shit. Watch that. That's a reality. That'll put the fear of the Lord in you watching that movie. If that don't put the fear of the Lord in you, there's something fucking wrong with you. Yeah, imagine the world, the courage, all into one. The Book of Eli, I'll make it all reality. Yep. Make it all reality. The purge shit is what I like. The purge? Which one is that? The purge when they set a day out of every month to go purge. That purge, uh, every crime, murder, everything was legal just for that. Oh, I heard about that. I never watched 24 it. 24 hours or. Yeah. I'm about to. Isn't that period. like a futuristic movie or something? It's not. It's like now. Oh, I gotta it's see like it. It's like now. But it take, the first one took place in some suburbs, a nice area of the suburbs. Yeah. People living good. I need, Esau, I need to watch me. I ain't watch no movies in yeah, a minute. It's a badass movie, man. I got purge. a big list of movies I need to watch. I, ain't, I just ain't seen the second one yet. The second purge. You seen it? No, I ain't seen it. You seen neither one of them? I, I saw seen the first one. I was think, going to see this this week, man. If y'all want to go, man, I'll pick y'all up. The Exodus? Yeah. So I got go, I'm down, bro. For real? I'm going to take my boys to see it. Oh, that's cool then. Which day you want to go? Just let me know, man. All right, I'm down, bro. I'm, you know I'm at home just like you. My whole family, even. even uh, whenever you're ready to go, man. Uh, my mom even said she wanted to go see it. I saw I Everybody reading, wants to see that movie. Yeah, I saw. I was reading all the pre the, uh, the uh, comments on the movie. Oh, they said, what they said? They, they don't like it. You know. Well, they ain't don't. But I got to see it for myself. It's just something worth seeing. I got to see it just because there's a Ridley Scott. Man, Ridley Scott ain't never. He might. I'm sure they're going. They always gonna fuck something up, but Ridley Scott yeah, hit, yeah. makes some good fucking movies. Because they said it's not good to be accurate. Oh, uh, but Ridley Scott always changes shit. The Gladiator went accurate. Well, he's a huge story for that. Yeah, because you can't change the world. But he did put some truth though in that Robin Hood movie. You watch the end of that Robin Hood. I gotta watch Robin Hood again. You gotta watch the end of the Robin Hood movie. King John. He took that goddamn Magna Carta and burnt that bitch up. And, he's, and he said, go get that Robin Hood, that son of a Freemason, and kill that motherfucker. Because, yeah, Freemasons worship the devil. And they, they gave you a little truth in that movie, that Robin Hood, when they when they told you Freemasons are no goddamn good. Hmm. All right. There we go. Well, but they try to make King John look like the bad guy, though. You know what I'm saying? Where he was really the fucking... Well, in that sense, he was a good guy. The hell was a goddamn Freemason? Um, he was the fucking king. You're supposed to listen to the king. king. <laughs> what thou said the Lord. <laughs> oh, you good. <laughs> you do a snot rocket, but This winter is going kind of quick. It's, 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 man, it's almost I, It ain't the winter yet, though, boy. We ain't hit the solstice yeah, yet. January is the hardest shit. Solstice is in a couple days. We might be right. Well, I've been praying, you know what I'm saying? Get a little mad. We got enough winter last year and shit. That little winter last year was no goddamn joke, boy. I was shoveling snow this goddamn high. I had to shovel out the whole alley to get to even get out the, the driveway. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, God damn. Man, me and my brother was snow. We was shoveling snow for goddamn. It seemed like six hours straight. Whitehall don't have them. no city trucks that come through like they that. They ain't. Well, they did the main streets, but not the alley. Right, but not the alley. Hell no, because everybody parks in the alley. We got everybody got driveways in the back. Man, the snow was goddamn knee deep back there. You couldn't drive through shit. It sure was crazy. So we we had a we had a shovel like 50 yards of snow. Yeah, I was I, I, my, I just when it snows like that, when the forecast says snow like that. I'm just up all night. Just that was that fake snow too. Snow, yeah, when it's catching dogs. Remember when we was burning shit. that snow? Yeah, yeah. And it smelled yeah. like chemicals. You remember that gun, bro? Mm. People burning the snow. Oh it yeah. It smelled like burnt. Yeah. It smelled yeah. like chemicals. I like seen that video. Plastic. It was like plastic. Yeah. Look, cause you look up, you, I've been showing my mom, she, she believes everything I say almost now. First she thought I was crazy, but I was like, one day we was outside, I was like, mom, watch, watch these planes spraying these chemtrails. Now watch it. Now watch those trails turn into clouds. And we sat down and watched it. And they don't go no you, you can't deny it when you see it happen before your eyes. And then the whole sky becomes clouds. And then they're all artificial clouds. So they, they all, there's a lot of weather manipulation going on. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll go ahead with that. Okay, um... Okay, for thus said the Lord, enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to the lament, for, for, nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people. Yeah, so the, yeah, so 
The Lord didn't say he came to bring peace and uh, goodwill to old men. No, the Lord's coming to bring destruction, okay? Mm -hmm. he, he would have peace on the elect, which is a very small number. That's right. But for the average person, he's bringing destruction, death, famine, mourning, grieving, anguish. Keep going. Okay. Um, nor promote them, for I have taken away my peace from this people. The what did the Lord say about the beginning of sorrows? I have to find that scripture. Oh, my fault. Go ahead. Okay. And even love, loving kindness and mercy. Yeah. And the Lord is all merciful, right? He ain't going to be merciful on that day, man. Keep going. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. The, both the great and the small shall die. They know you wicked devils escaping the punishment of the Lord. Okay. Your money can't save you. If your your uh, body goes. your prominent place in society can't save you. What's that? Your uh, your fame can't save you. You ever watch some bitches, man, in Hollywood? How do you walk around with them big ass He's proud bodyguards, as hell too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Big ass bodyguards that really can't fight. <laughs> you know? They just getting paid. It's a hustle. Yep. Like your boy Mr. T, where he got famous being a bodyguard, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Sure was. One number, a short piece of shit. It's just, it's just a con. It's a hustle. People are impressed by what they... They see a motherfucker with muscles. They assume that motherfucker yeah. is just a plain out bad motherfucker. No motherfuckers don't do much cardio and ain't got no strong parts. They can't, they can't last for it. Yeah, that's a good point because them know? boxers... Because boxing's all about cardio. Most boxers don't even lift weights. They, they don't break. They, 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 all they do is cardio. They're weight lifting. Yeah. Yeah. So so if, you, if you want to go 12 rounds, boy, you got to be in shape. Yeah, because we used to put the gloves on we as teenagers. Man, people would be tired after one minute of throwing punches. Right, right. You'd be tired, you know, punches be coming. <laughs> You'd be tired, boy. Hey, cardio is one of my greatest emphasis, man. Uh, yeah, you know, it's all about cardio. That's why I never wanted my weight to get above 230. You know? Fuck that. Fuck that. Right. Especially if you get in a, yeah, you start throwing all them punches, and then when you start because everything usually goes to the ground anyway. Mm. Motherfuckers start wrestling and putting, trying to choke. That's if you ain't got skills, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll choke the shit out of a motherfucker. I'll break your damn neck. <laughs> I motherfuckers, I'll put a motherfucker in a chokehold. If I can make me win, shit. But you know, most fights you see always go to the ground, though. They end up wrestling. That's, they, that's just some motherfuckers in the Yeah, these motherfuckers be all tired. That's why I'm saying they be all tired and shit. There's no skill in the fight. And then by the end of the fight, they both just laying there breathing. Right, right, right. <laughs> they think they can be like an MMA. They copying the MMA shit. Yeah. They ain't learning nothing from that MMA shit. They ain't learning nothing from it. Yeah, fuck that shit. The real, the real skills is boxers. That's the real skill for motherfuckers. Them big heavyweights, man. Let me see you fight one of them big motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers actually run. Yeah, they run. They run. <laughs> they do cardio. They hit bags. These people gonna be slaughtered, man. Looks like these people gonna get slaughtered. It's gonna be like a lawnmower just running over people. Man. That's the thing too. Like in, in the military, in the Marines, every, when I was in the Marines, it was all cardio. Cardio. They didn't care damn about lifting weights. I mean, right. you could. They had a gym and shit. You yeah. can. You they, go lift weights but lifting weight. the weights really ain't help you much. Right. Because the, the big strong motherfuckers be all tired when you out when you don't walk 15 goddamn miles. <laughs> you see people dropping like goddamn flies. Right. We be out in the middle of the desert in the desert sun. The biggest, strongest, baddest dudes, they, they dropping like flies. Goddamn, they got IVs and shit in them. What the fuck? Goddamn heat strokes and shit. Pussies. Yeah. Both the great and the small shall die in that, this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them. Hell yeah, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna cry for you. We ain't gonna shed no tears. You know what I'm saying? nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. We ain't, we ain't gonna comfort you all, man. Yeah. We're gonna laugh at you. The Lord, we're gonna mock you. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. <laughs> let's, all, get, let's get drunk, man. I, I love oh, you, yeah. man, you know. We ain't pouring out no liquor for you. You know, <laughs> right. pour out a little <laughs> liquor. What's that, Tupac song? Pour out a little liquor. You don't know about that? Hey, we got. Hey, none of that gonna be happening. None. 
You ain't never heard it. You ain't never listen to no Pac. Yeah, he got that song, pour out a little we ain't pouring out no liquor. He was dead. He wasn't even born yet before oh, yeah. Pac was even dead. Yeah. I mean you was dead. I mean you was you weren't even born. Wait, what year is you born? 98. 98? Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, that sounds crazy, yo. God, that is bugged out. Damn, 98. But this doesn't seem like yesterday, though. In 98, I was playing Nintendo 64. Yeah. I was a whole old down this goddamn street. <laughs> I was in the Marines in 98. That's crazy. I was in the Marines shooting machine guns and shit. Actually, I was actually here a lot. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Actually, in 98, I was in Thailand and Japan. I was over there in the Pacific, boy, fucking whores. Damn. <laughs> That was a good year for fucking boys. Thou shalt not also go in to the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. Like Christmas, we ain't, we ain't done down with that shit. With your feet, fuck your feast day. We ain't kicking it with y'all. Like why? That's why I always tell people you can't hang out with two thirds. If you claim to be in this truth, you ain't supposed to be hanging out with unbelievers. You ain't supposed to be hanging out with two thirds. If you know motherfuckers ain't right and don't agree with this word and have a problem with this sh stuff they teach you, you ain't supposed to hang out with them, man. You ain't supposed to be supping with them. You ain't supposed to break bread with them. Go ahead. For thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth. Ain't gonna be no voice of mirth. And the voice of gladness. Ain't gonna be no gladness, it's gonna be all sorrow. The voice of bridegroom. The voice of, yeah. And the voice of bride. Yeah, like, you know, at a wedding party and shit, everybody drinking, getting drunk, everybody having a good time, listening to their bullshit music. Ain't gonna, there ain't gonna be no more music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was just to an East Indian wedding the other day, man. Oh, man, that sounds East scary. Oh, that's terrible. But so, sometimes they got some good shit to be Israelites over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause you ain't never watched one of them Hindu movies. I know, movies. You know I know, I know. But your boy, know. one of them actors, uh, Israelite, uh, Amir Khan, he gotta be an Israelite, man. <laughs> I was watching with one of them Hindu movies. They started doing that dance and this shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, dang, this dude got some moves. Yeah. Cause some women when they be doing the dance, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, some bitches be looking good too. Yeah, yeah. Some of them. Cause it, there's all kind of Israelites. Uh, the actually, the last name Khan, that probably comes from the Hebrew word Cohen, which means priest. Because you got uh, some some people with the last name, and they consider because uh, over in India you got a caste system. You know, you got the caste. You got the peasants will always be peasants. You know what I mean? There's no rising up to the top like in so-called America where there's no ca they say there's no caste system, and there really is. There's a caste system, right? But the Khans over there, I guess they they. They're in the higher echelon of society or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But that word Khan, I bet your ass, it comes from the Hebrew word Cohen. A lot of East Indians have that? Yeah, Khan. A lot of East Indians, Khan. Khan. I don't know, that's just, that's just my that's just speculation. What would I go I don't know if that's true or not. That's just. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words. And they shall say unto thee, wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Question mark. Or what is our iniquity? Question mark. Yeah, what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord, our power? They just like, what did I do wrong? Right, right. We've yeah, been telling them. Motherfucker, <laughs> what have you been doing wrong? Where they shall a, we begin? Motherfuckers be, Again. A, they be amazed, man. Right. That was wrong? The Christmas tree oh, in the house. I told your ass a thousand times. So you the scripture. Like I said, Christmas is all about Santa Claus, but they claim it's about Jesus. So why don't you put Jesus in your front yard? Well, some people do do that. They, they'll put the main, they got the whole manger scene out there. You know what I'm saying? They got the wise men with the, with the gold. You lit, up right. lit up right, too. <laughs> lit up right as shit. Lit up right as shit. But that's Israel, though. You know what I'm saying? Israel look. But they think they're doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying? They think they're doing the right thing, but you got to correct their ass. Like, this Christmas shit ain't got nothing to do with the Bible, y'all. You got to let them know. Let them fools know. Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord power, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, 
They have walked after other gods. Walk after. Santa Claus is Odin. I'm sorry. When you celebrate Christmas, you worshiping motherfucking. You worshiping Odin. You worshiping Baal. That's Baal worship. Straight up. Straight up. It ain't no more. It get get no more Baal than Christmas. You got the damn tree. Real talk. You got the tree up in your house. It's real talk. And then you put cookies out for Santa Claus. <laughs> that go, that's, the Israelites did the same thing. They put baked, baked cakes for the so queen of heaven. Sure and don't you know that tree actually represents Asherah. In the Bible, the tree is called an Asherah pole. When you look the word grove up in Hebrew, like a tree, a grove, the word is Asherah in the Hebrew, which Asherah is the queen of heaven, the wife of Baal. So that's like Mrs. Claus. That's why you got Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And Santa, they say Santa means saint. Well, no it don't, it's Satan mixed up. No, you don't call any saint with, ending with A in Latin. If you're referring to a, a man, it would end with the O. And something, a word ending with the A is feminine. You know what I'm saying? So if it's Santa, is just Satan. If you mix up the letters, it's Satan. That's why he's red, just like Esau is red. And Esau is the children of Satan. It's Santa Claus, Satan's claws. Well, which, which sounds also similar to Saturn. Saturn. With Saturn, and Christmas back in the ancient world, there's a celebration of Christmas, and the Roman Empire was known as Saturnalia, because they said that the time of Christmas was was, was uh, the celebration of Saturn. So they celebrate something called Saturnalia, which lasted for about two weeks. That was the holiday season was Saturnalia. Did y'all know Christmas comes from the ancient pagan festival Saturnalia? It's all about devil worshiping. Did y'all know Santa Claus is Odin? You didn't know that. No, I didn't. And you know the Christmas tree represents the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and the bulbs on the tree represent the forbidden fruit that the serpent gave to Eve. So all y'all are devil worshipers. You worship Satan. They all got trees in their house. We, 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 they drive, they walk by us, I blast them with some truth. Look at all these people we mark them. You just mark them. these cars going by. <laughs> just like you said, like the uh, scripture said, what have we done? You know? What have we done? Oh, yeah, let's get back to that Jeremiah. We gotta get this out before that camera dies. That's a bad scripture coming up. I was looking at some cameras at the pawn shop today too. I was looking at some too, man. I was trying to find some. We need to get some at least 720p or at least 720p or 1080p, man. Some good shit. Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and her, and have forsaken me, and right. have not kept my law. Right, they ain't kept the law. The law says you're supposed to burn the groves with fire, not put it in your house. You say you're supposed to burn the Christmas tree with fire, not put it in your house, and sing joy to the world. What's the other bullshit they be singing? All that faggot ass Christmas music. Sing a white Christmas? Y'all dreaming of a white Christmas? <laughs> and you have done worse than your fathers. Watching It's a Wonderful Life. That's a garbage movie. I always hated that. That's the spirit. I always hated that goddamn movie. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. Why this shit is retarded, man? People watch it over and over. My mom used to force me to watch it every goddamn Christmas. I'm like, Stupid. God damn it. I didn't like it last year. I don't <laughs> like it this year. I ain't never gonna like it. Stop making me watch this shit. Shit. And ye have done worse than your fathers for behold, he walked. Everyone after the imagination of this evil heart. Imagination is an evil heart. But Christmas is all about the imaginations of your evil heart. It's the, Christmas is a magical time of year. Yeah, a, a, the magic of a wizard and a sorcerer and a devil worshiper. He going. That they may not hearken unto me, therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers. And there shall you serve other gods day and night. See, all people was uh, celebrating Christmas back in the ancient world. So that's the reason we all got scattered among all the nations. But this ain't nothing new. Our people have been, be doing, been doing this wicked shit since the ancient world. Because Christmas, putting trees in your house and all that shit, that's, 
That's a thousands of year old demonic tradition. Israel was doing that back in the ancient world. And that's why the Lord punishes and scatters it. And it tells you in the scriptures, when you read through the book of Chronicles and Kings, it tells you about all the deeds of each king, whether they was righteous or not. And it always said that the righteous kings would burn the groves with fire and burn, get all the trees out of people's houses and make them stop celebrating and worshiping the serpent. Keep going. Where I will not show you favor, therefore, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again unto their land. All the land where they driven, because it said the Lord scattered Israel among all these heathen nations. So the Lord said, you want to act like a heathen? Okay, I'm going to play a joke on you. I'm going to scatter you to heathen. I'm going to make you like, uh, like a heathen. That's how our people, we get scattered. Our people are scattered among the heathen. Now you, you even look like a heathen. Like we was just talking about some Hindus who are actually Israelites. That's part of that punishment and that curse. Oh, go ahead. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands where he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord. Oh, I send for many fishers. And they shall fish them. And after I will send for many hunters. And now they we, shall we hunt are, them. Right, this is a classic trip. We out here fishing right now. We ain't gonna be fishing all the time. Right now we fishing. We throwing a net out. We trying to bring some fish in. If we catch a catfish, we throw it back. You catch a carp, you, that shit's unclean. You throw that shit back. Throw the lobsters back. We ain't dealing with no lobsters. You know what I'm saying? There's just an article on the internet the other day on Yahoo News. We catch a rubber. Ten of America's greatest things in life to eat. Oh, man. Well, you know, I'm speaking of parables, but yeah. The, Cause a lot of y'all is liking them the unclean animals. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep going with that. Oh, um, and I and after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. Yes, yeah, so ain't no so I, you ain't no hiding, man. Ain't no escaping. Cause you got even got people in the government like these Edomites too. They, they got deep underground military bunkers. We gonna go up in there and we gonna get them. And then we got our own people. They, our own people, they gonna try to hide. They gonna try to hide from us. We gonna get you. The Lord gonna put the spirit on us and we gonna get you. That's all there is to it. Cause we, when that time, when the Lord gives us our power, we, 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 gonna, we, gonna, we gonna after Israel first before we go after the heathens. We're going to house. Yeah, we're going to clean house. But the Lord going to put it, he's going to give us spiritual power, and he's going to put the spirit on us, and we're just going to go berserk. We're going to go in berserker mode. You ever see berserker mode? You ever play Grand Theft Auto, you go in berserker mode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we're going to be. But we're going to have that spiritual power. Real power. Yeah, real power. Shit they did on the college. What's that? Uh, wasn't that cannibal scripture now? Jeremiah's scripture. Eat the flesh. Hold on, let me go back to it. Okay. I, that's fine. I thought that was in 16, wasn't it? It was. I thought it was. <laughs> well, I thought it was. I could did look it up. Did we pass over? Didn't notice? I could look it up real quick. I thought it was in 16. Well, let me just go back to it. Okay. Maybe it's not in 16. Yeah, it was. Was it? I was reading 13. Uh, I was reading 13. Oh man, I know it's somewhere around there. You know what? No, I was reading 16. Yeah, that was. We were in 16. I think it is in 16. Um, it wasn't in none of what I read. Oh. That bastard. Oh no, I was wrong, dude. I was way off. 19. Oh yeah, why did I think it was a 16? 19 and 9. 
Well, actually, you can read that Jeremiah just keeps going and going. That's why it's hard to remember scriptures in Jeremiah because the whole book is just fired. Talking about how the Lord going to fuck up Israel. That's all the book of Jeremiah is. is Jeremiah prophesying against Israel. Telling them how, about how the wicked they are. And people say you can't speak bad about Israel. This is Jeremiah 19 and 8. And I will make this city desolate. Oh, so the Lord going to make this city right here, he's going to make it desolate. Okay. And in hissing. They're going to be in hissing. Keep going. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. Yeah, so there's going to be all kind of plagues. Oh, y'all see, y'all done forgot about Ebola. You better not forget about Ebola. Oh, believe me, Ebola is going to make a big comeback. Oh, there's going to be all kind of plagues and viruses out here. Well, actually, according to the CDC, over half of America is infected with venereal diseases and STDs any damn way. Half y'all already infected. A bunch of nasty heathens. I'm calling to come back. I've been yeah. here for years. Well, they trying to keep. They trying to downplay that Ebola virus. Sure that Ebola spreading. <laughs> it ain't gonna cover in the news because they don't want people to panic. They want it to spread. He going? Uh, this is 19 and 9. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. So there's going to be cannibalism. Soon you're going to go to the store when the economy collapses and society starts crumbling. You're going to go to Kroger think you're going to get some groceries. Yo, EBT ain't going to work. Ain't going to be no more EBT. If they shut down the EBT, you're going to starve. Okay? Half you people out here, you get all your food for an EBT. And plus, ain't gonna be no food on the shelf. They gonna be, like we said, they gonna be eating dog food. And when the dog food runs out and the cat food runs out, y'all gonna eat people. You gonna eat your own children. You gonna eat your best friend. You ever watch some goddamn the Bugs Bunny cartoon? When Bugs Bunny got stranded on a desert island and they had them two dudes, the, the stove, the the stove. Now there was two dudes traveling on the island with Bugs Bunny, and they was looking at it. They, was, they looked at the. He looked at another dude, and all he seen, he turned into a steak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's how they try to start chasing. And then they seen Bugs Bunny, then they start chasing his ass. But that's how it's going to be. That sounds silly. You are gonna be looking at your best friend. You gonna be looking at him like God well, damn. Go into that. Then you gonna, if you got any barbecue sauce, you gonna put barbecue so sauce on him. You gonna eat him. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be trying to put. Some sold his, on it. Cut some meat off his thighs. So. Yeah, and you gonna you can be like preparing it just like you do a regular steak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got it on the grill and everything. Yeah. And that's how it's but that's how it's gonna be. And they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend in the siege and straightness wherefore with their enemies, and they shall seek their lives, shall straighten them. Just yeah, just like in that movie The Road. You watch that movie The Road. Those one people, they had a whole basement full of, full of, uh, full of people. They, they would chop off your leg and keep you alive, so, and they'd eat your leg, but they, they wouldn't kill you because they want to keep the rest of your meat fresh. So they'd leave you alive with one leg, and they come back a little later, later, chop off your other leg. Now you got two legs, you're still alive, then they come back later and get your arm. That's how it's going to be, man. They're going to be women gonna be eating their babies all oh, just like on that movie the road remember that uh what's the main character the dude that played uh that's the dude that played uh aragon from lord of the rings what's his name you know what i'm talking about the lord of the rings i ain't even watched that you didn't see lord of the rings that's the shit yeah i ain't never watched that that's my shit the king aragon he played the main character in the road but he uh <laughs> but his wife in that movie she was talking to him and was, she's looking at the sons like, we gonna eat our son? She's like, everybody else is doing it. Everybody else is doing it, why don't we do it? He looked at her like, bitch, you got bitch. your fucking mind. Well, he didn't say that, but you know. So that's the woman, the woman gonna get weak. She actually gonna wanna eat her own children. That's in the scriptures, man. That's in the Bible. That's a prophecy. That's a wicked man's punishment. You get ate by your best friend. You're going to have cannibals running around rounding people up. Just like in the road. They're going to 
You know what I'm saying? They're going to have a whole basement full of people just to eat. That's a terrifying day right there. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that's horror. It's going to be an actual real horror movie out here. I'm trying to find this badass picture. <laughs> What's this other movie I watched, man? It was a like, year or two ago. And it took place, and it was like some kind of new ice age or something. And, and there's these one people. I forget what it was called, but they was they was all savage. They, they was cannibals, and they was just going around killing people and eating them. Mm -hmm. Because there was no food left. So when there's no food, there's gonna be cannibalism. Yeah. Cause people don't want to believe that shit, man. There was cannibalism in ancient Rome. They had a famine. People started eating each other. Sounds crazy. It's gonna happen, man. Yeah. Who's you looking for? What's up, homie? There's one dude around him. Oh, that's in a uh, Jose. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Zechariah and Zephyr. I find a little meat here and there. You got the word flesh in it? Uh, it tells you. It just sounds in the darkness. <laughs> Man, what's the key word in it, though? Uh, Eat. Man, we're going to go back to this chair. I can find it, bro. I got some Jimmy for you. Oh, same shit. They didn't play the same songs though. They don't never play no Jimmy, some good Jimmy. Okay, back to this. 19 of Jeremiah. Bitch. Um, then shalt thou break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee, and shall say unto them, Thus said the Lord of Lord. Even so will I break this people and this city, and one breaketh a potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again. And they shall bury them in Tophet to there be no place to bury. Oh, you know, a Tophet, that's the, Tophet's the valley of the son of Hinnom. That's Gehenna, that's hell. Hey, we gotta get, where did you at? Uh, 19 of Jeremiah. Oh, yeah, we go, okay. Um, yeah, because it. That was another. That's where the Israelites would go worship Baal. Sacrifice animals, sacrifice children. Now in Tophet, that's the valley of the son of Hinnom. With Gehenna. That was uh, south of Jerusalem. The actual place. Yeah, it talks about that too in Jeremiah, I think 34.